Hey, I'm Malik Abdul, and students and staff at Fort Valley State University are preparing for spring elections. Today is Fort Valley State's Day of Service. There are plenty of sites around that students can go to to help and also earn some community service hours. We're here at the Health and Physical Education Complex at Fort Valley State University, celebrating the 32nd Annual Scholarship Luncheon. We're going to be getting a good look inside at the scholarship recipients and special guests. It's the middle of fishing season, and as you can see, there are no fishermen around. That's due to the declining rates of fish and the mass of pollution in Georgia's lakes. As you can see from our tropical trunks and slides, summer is almost here. Experts say that daily or even weekly swimming can provide for a healthier heart. One, two, three. Fort Valley State University students and staff celebrate the reopening of Bishop Hall. Many were in attendance for the ribbon cutting ceremony and president of Ed Gordon Media says he's excited about the opportunities it gives students. Well, the grand opening of uh, Bishop Hall is exciting uh, in the sense that it now gives the students an opportunity to have a place to go with state-of-the-art equipment. It gets them in the middle of the communication world in a way that uh, the university hasn't seen in a long time. The new building will allow mass communication majors to become familiar with new equipment that is used in the field today instead of using outdated technology and becoming lost in their future careers. State of the art must be the standard, not the exception. It is my hope that each student who matriculates into this program takes full advantage of these opportunities available to each of us now. Student leader Idalis Forte had this to say. I'm very excited because they have put $4 million into this one building, and this one building is going to allow us to be so competitive in the workforce. Fort Valley State University President Paul Jones says, It's a great day for us because this whole quad area is a very important area for us as an institution. We're really doing our best to ensure that this is a, a special area. Paul Jones lastly adds, This is an exciting day in the back. This is Malik Abdul with Fort Valley. Fort Valley State University's athletic department provides a number of ways to stay active and healthy. Swimming is just one of them. Health and physical education professor George Williams says young people need to start early and get in the habit of taking care of their health and start eating more healthy. This day and time is so important that our teenagers, our students learn that the value of being healthy. February is American Heart Month, so there's a big emphasis on exercise and eating healthy for students. Football and basketball are fun cardio workouts, but swimming may be the most beneficial. Uh, if you want to live a, a prosperous life, it's best you live a healthy life by eating proper foods and exercise. And by the way, swimming is one of the most best exercises you could do. I'm Malik Abdul with Fort Valley News. Fort Valley State University held its 32nd annual scholarship luncheon. The luncheon provided scholarships to students from donations received from congressmen to alumni. Event director Professor Dickey says the luncheon was a success. Today's event is a very important part of the university, and uh, this is the largest fundraiser for the university. There was a lot of entertainment at the scholarship luncheon, as we saw from dancer Zaria Anderson. I'm here to show my support to our Fort Valley students who will be receiving scholarships, and for the students who want to receive a scholarship from the donors that we have today. And I'm so honored to be here because you never know the opportunity that you could come by. And as well as I'm here to just sing and dance, just what I do my best, just to have a good time, good fellowship. Member of the NAACP, Rhodesia Elam, says, It was really nice um, being able to honor all the different donors um, and honor the scholarship recipients, you know, because they give so much back to our institution. So it was nice to just be able to say thank you for all the work that you've done to help us. This was a memorable event for the students who received scholarships and plan to give back to the community. I'm Malik Abdul with Fort Valley News.